Today I'm going to show you how to make this simple, cool, little LED project. So go grab your kids or your grandkids. If you don't have kids, look around your neighborhood. I'm sure you can find one or two, but you know, make sure you ask before borrowing random children. Hey, what's happening guys? Today I've got a really simple project from my Arduino for Kids uh, playlist. Just using some LEDs, some resistors, and an Arduino to show you how you can create some fun and interesting LED patterns. Now, first of all, let me just say, I'm using 10 millimeter LEDs, which are larger than the standard five millimeter LEDs you generally find, but it doesn't matter. The project will work that way. Also, I've chose to do some different colors just to kind of make the patterns a little bit more interesting. You don't have to do that either. You can use three millimeter, five millimeter, 10 millimeter LEDs. You don't want blinking LEDs. You don't want RGB LEDs for this project. And uh, next we're gonna talk about the resistors. For all but the yellow, I've used 1K resistors. So it doesn't use much power and it keeps the bulbs kind of dim. For the yellow to bump up the brightness so that it kind of matches the green a little more, I've went ahead and used a 470 ohm. So it's about half the resistance. Now, if we look here at the circuit diagram, you can see how simple it really is. Using an Arduino Uno or a Nano, you simply collect, connect the anode of your LEDs which is generally the longer lead. And if you don't have one that's a longer lead, you can look for the flat place on the round bottom. That's generally the smaller lead or the cathode, just so you know which way to plug them in. So you wanna make sure you're connecting your anode, the long lead, to pins two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One, LED to each of those. Then from the short lead or the flat side, you're going to connect to either side of the resistor. Resistors, it doesn't matter which way you plug them in. They're what's called non-polarized, whereas the diodes, it does matter. A diode is kind of like a one-way valve. Electricity current will only flow this way. It will block flow this way. So you have to have it this way. Anode to the Arduino, cathode to the resistor. And then you're going to put all your resistors into the ground rail and make sure your ground rail is connected back to the ground on the Arduino. That is it for the physical hookup on this. There's nothing else to do. It's that easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. It's that easy. So next, what I find useful when you're trying to do these little animations is to make up, your, make up a chart for yourself and... What I've done is I have, this is how they correspond in the program. LED numbers, Arduino pin numbers, and then I have the yellows. I mean, the colors. Pardon me. So what you can do is you can take a chart like this, a grid, table, whatever you want to call it, and kind of design how you want your LEDs to come on. That way, when you're doing the programming, it'll be easier for you. So like for the one I did where this starts at the center and it comes out, you say we want the center LED to come on first, then the green ones, then the red ones. And now you have yourself a little roadmap. Or if you want to go from the outside in, you could go one, two, three, four, five, which is another sequence I did in there. And then finally we have the Larson scanner where we just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But then we come back and we go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Notice on the one to come back, we don't do this one or this one, because those are our end pieces, and they've already been lit here at position one, or, or position nine, and position one. This will make more sense to you. But this way, at least you know, okay, so I want 
this one yellow one to light up first well that's led number five which goes to arduino pin number six kind of help you make sense of it a little bit better all right let me show you the code i wrote for this it's a little bit long but i wrote it in um, blocks or subroutines to make it a bit easier to understand all right now we're going to take a look at the program and I will post the link down below where you can download the program for free to your computer and upload it to your Arduino so you can create you know exactly what we have here in this video so I started here with this little hookup guide and it just tells you what to do this is your Arduino pin 2 goes to LED 1 I use the red LED and a 1k resistor and you can just go through this if you want to duplicate what I have and just hook it up like that and you'll have exactly what I have again you don't have to do it that way it's just my way of showing you now I've broken this program down into these little blocks like this so that we have a better idea of what we're looking at you know if you're a beginner this will help you out a little bit so our first section are the global variables and they're used all throughout the program there's only one of them it is an integer variable which means it must be a whole number it's called DLY and its initial value its only value right now is a hundred so that's a tenth of a second okay so that's our delay that we're using in between all of the individual LEDs turning on or turning off by changing this number right here you can change how long each individual effect lasts See, instead of doing it individually for each one, which makes for a lot more typing, by doing it globally here, one variable covers everything. All right, our next section are the subroutines. And like I said here, they're like little mini programs. So each of our different effects has a name. The first one is called Larson. And it's a Larson scanner, like what you would see in... Uh, Knight Rider or Battlestar Galactica. It's just an LED that moves back and forth like a scanner, kind of. So we start off by setting all of our LEDs to low, which turns them off. Then we turn on the first LED. We wait for our delay time. In this time, in this case, it's delay divided by two, which is a tenth of a second divided by two. Then we turn the LED off. Then we wait again. Then we do it to the next LED. Three, four, five. We work all the way up till we get to number nine, which is our last, or no, I'm sorry, number 10, which is our last LED. And then we count back down. Now notice we don't do 10 twice. We just do it once. And then we go down from nine until we get down to three. We don't go back to two at the beginning because once this finishes it's going to get called again and it will automatically come back up here to the beginning okay so our next one is called up and down and this simply takes the LEDs that are connected to our PWM pins which are the pins that can have a variable voltage starts with them off and slowly makes them brighter till they get to full brightness and then goes back down and we do that with a four next loop basically <clears throat> we create an integer variable called X, which is our our uh, flag, it's called. It's going to keep track of whether we're going up or down. Then we create another variable called I, which is our counter. I starts at zero. And we say as long as I is greater than negative one, which it is here because, well, yeah, never mind. As long as greater than negative one, then I equals I plus x which in this case is one so as long as it's greater than negative one next time it'll be two and then three every time it does that it takes these PWM pins here <clears throat> in this case number five and number six and it sets their brightness to level I which is this number that we're doing here now we say when we get to the top 255 which is the highest number we can go to then x equals minus 1. So when we go back through the loop, i, which is 255, will now equal 255 plus minus 1, or 254. 
and you see how this goes back down. Then we do it again with another pair, number 10 and 9. So they just go up and down, up and down, and that is our up and down loop. Next we have this one, which I call CTR out, center out. It starts at the center and it moves outwards. So we begin by turning the center LED, which is number six, on. Then we wait. Then we turn on the pair on either side of it, which are seven and five. Then we wait. Then we turn on the pair on either side of seven and five, which is eight and four, nine and three, and finally, 10 and two. Then we turn them all off. <clears throat> and we wait. You can play with these numbers here, delay times 6, delay times 8, to make them stay on or turn off however long you like. Our next loop is called out in. We start from the outside and we move in. So our outer pair are 10 and 2. We turn them on, we wait, we turn them off. Then the next inner pair, 9 and 3 on, 9 and 3 off. You see how it goes all the way down to where finally at 6, which is our center pin, we turn it on, we wait, we turn it off. So those are all the subroutines that the main program can call to give us our effects. But they're not going to happen yet. We're just setting them up. Next thing we have is our setup loop. And this is where we set up the Arduino and tell it how to behave. For instance, any of our pins can be inputs or outputs and we need to tell them before the program begins which they're going to be. So of course we're using pins 2 through 10 and we're going to set them all as outputs. We're not taking any input from these pins so they need to be outputs. And we're going to start with all of the LEDs off. So that is our setup that's telling the Arduino how to behave. Next we have the main loop. That's right here, loop. And this is where it's going to execute over and over again all the things that we tell it to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tell it to do our routine called CTR out, where it starts from the center and moves outwards. We want it to do, we want it to do that routine three times. So we set up a for loop here with I, and as long as I is less than two, I will increase by one every time. Since we're starting at zero, we have zero, one, and two. It'll happen three times. Then we do our loop called out in again with this. That will make it do it three times. Then we do up and down three times. And finally, we do Larson three times. If you wanted to do it twice, change that to a one. If you want to do it four times, change that to a three. You get the idea. There's, there's really nothing to it. And that is the end of the program. So now you understand how the programming works. And I would encourage you to play around. Change how many times something happens. Or go up into these routines and change the delay numbers. Make it work so that it's pleasing to you. That's the fun of electronics. You can make it however you want it. You don't have to do it how I did it. This is simply a way to do it. It's not the way. To do it so there it is it's a really easy project and a great project you can do with your kids it's a great place to start out with making LED patterns or animations whatever you want to call it I showed you the circuit diagram how to wire it up I showed you the programming that I use again you can use whatever programming you like but just you know gives you an idea the only thing I didn't really talk about was the uh, the power connections. This red one is 5 volts. It goes to the red rail, but we're not using the red rail in this case. So you can see it doesn't need to be connected. What does need to be connected is the ground pin goes to the blue rail. And make sure you connect you know, your blue rails together. Something like that. That's a little bit important. The red one is not important. Well, The ground one is more than a little bit important if you don't connect it it's not going to work. But that's it. Again, you don't have to use the big LEDs. I just use them because I think they're neat and I wanted to play with them. You can use whatever you want. So if you like this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and please subscribe. We're at over 97,000 subscribers. And when we get to 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to be very happy. 
and I want to make you very happy too. So I'm going to have a drawing and we're going to send out a bunch of prizes. We're sitting at about 20 different prizes now, including uh, soldering stations, LED, or uh, Arduino kits, um, oscilloscope, just all kinds of electronic fun. Got to be a subscriber. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Okay, that's it. I'm out. Peace.